show you a very easy fix today for a Toyota Corolla 2007. Uh, the same thing goes for 2003 to 2008 though. Uh, my front bulb here, this one, the main light bulb, went out on me. And uh, a lot of the videos on YouTube I saw were saying you had to take the whole front bumper off. Um, my understanding now, after looking into it, is that is if you want to replace this whole lens and everything there. So in order to just switch the bulb though, it's really very simple. And I'll go ahead and show you that now. But before you start, make sure your car is turned off and your lights are turned off as they are here, it can be hooked up to the battery, just not running. So the first thing you're gonna need to do, so it's my left bulb, this one right here, the main bulb that's gone out. Um, so the first thing you need to do is be able to access it. And there's an air filter um, valve right here. So here's the battery, here's the valve. And this doesn't apply on the right side. If you're changing the right one, it's already exposed. You can see everything that you need to from the back. But if you're working on the left side, the first thing you need to do is take out this little out this uh, screw right here. So the way that this pulls out is you just get a screwdriver underneath it. I actually like using two, that way you can come from both sides and not feel like you're yanking it too much. Okay, you're going to pull it out and it's going to look like this. It's kind of got two, two ends on it there. Uh, just set it aside, we'll, we'll need it again in a minute. But now this hole is, that's where we pulled it out of, here's that air filter. Now it is connected to a hose on the bottom, so you can't pull it very far, but you're just going to kind of want to pull it to the side there, so that you can get a better access. This is what you're looking for right here from the back. I'll go ahead and upload this, but um, this is what it's going to look like from the back. And if you're facing the front, again, this is looking at the left bulb, then whichever one you're going to want to switch, you're going to rotate counterclockwise with regards to the front of the, the vehicle, if that makes sense. Um, and I'll upload the link to this website as well. It's just the online version of the owner's manual, which can be helpful. And once you've got this guy moved out of the way, you're going to reach down and grab a hold of the back of that, like I showed you in the diagram, and twist counterclockwise with regards to the front of the car. Or if you're facing forward is another way to say it. And you can even see the bulb starting to pull out of the back there. Just kind of be gentle with it, and and there it goes. It pulled right out. I'm gonna have to kind of wiggle it up to the top, and there it is, right there. Here's the connection. Here's the actual bulb. Okay, here's my replacement bulb that I ordered just off of eBay, I think, or online. So you can kind of see what it comes with, and and where you're gonna have to disconnect it, disconnect this one to put this one back on there. Just right here, it's blue on mine. I don't know what color it's gonna be on yours. And this gray part right here is where it's gonna kinda of clip off. So we'll go ahead and do that. I've gone ahead and loosened this back clamp just a little bit so I can wiggle it off hopefully with just one hand. So that clamp comes off. And you can see the inside of that one's just the same as the other. We've got this connector here where the new lamp is just going to slide right on there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that with both hands. Alright there we go you can see that it is latched on there there's kind of these two little parts that clip on to either side of this latch right there and, and get it securely in place so you're going to do the same thing that you did before just in reverse putting this back down and twisting it into place you kind of put it in at an angle like this and then twist it so that it's it's going to be up and down like this when you finish. Whatever we take apart we've got to put back together so we're going to slide this guy just back into place. He's not connected to anything it's just it's just sitting there so just kind of push it back into place. Now the two pronged part of this goes into the hole make sure your two holes are lined up which mine are not quite lined up and you're just going to push down on this top part here and lock it into place. There you go, you're done. If you look closely right behind the reflector there, the bulb is securely in place. You can kind of feel it clip into place. Um, so let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it's working or not. Oh, another important thing, make sure your car is off and your lights are off before you start, obviously. And there we go. Your owner's manual will also have a list of the type of bulb that you will need, whether it's a high beam, low beam, uh, turn indicator, 
reverse light, all of that will be in your owner's manual as well. And here's a link to that.